When the Berlitt T100 debuted at the Paris Motor Show in 1957, it was so massive that organizers had to construct a special pavilion. The truck simply couldn't fit inside the main hall. At 103 tons, this French-built Colossus was designed for the harshest jobs imaginable, from hauling heavy equipment across the Sahara Desert to serving at remote uranium mining sites. Powering the T100 was a monstrous 29.6-liter Cummins V12 engine capable of producing up to 700 horsepower. But handling such a beast wasn't easy, steering alone was so demanding that engineers added a separate Panhard motor just to control the steering system. This was a truck that didn't just move cargo, it wrestled with the environment itself. In 1962, engineers experimented by fitting one T100 with a gas turbine engine, but the idea was quickly abandoned after fuel consumption proved wildly impractical. In the end, only four units were ever built, making the T100 a true rarity. Today, one survives in a French museum, standing as a monument to audacious engineering and industrial ambition. The name Foolish Pleasure might sound playful, but this truck is pure power wrapped in style. At first glance, it looks like a spotless Kenworth W900, shining in a clean white finish. But beneath that polished exterior lies a monster built to thrill and terrify. Under the hood is a Caterpillar 3406E engine, tuned for performance and capable of unleashing astonishing power. In standard mode, Foolish Pleasure produces a respectable 700 horsepower, already enough to make most rigs seem tame. But switch it into race mode, and the engine transforms into a fire-breathing beast. Dinos struggle to measure the surge of power as tires scream, exhaust stacks erupt with fire and smoke, and the crowd erupts in cheers. This truck isn't built for hauling freight. Its true stage is the drag strip, where it competes in uphill races across the United States, both with and without a trailer. Everywhere it goes, it leaves fans awestruck, and perhaps gives a few environmentalists something to frown about. For its fans, though, foolish pleasure is the definition of diesel-fueled excitement. Meet Big Pete, the heavyweight champion of the monster truck world. Tipping the scales at a massive 7.5 tons, it's nearly twice as heavy as most of its rivals. Measuring 5.5 meters long and 4 meters wide, this mechanical giant is closer in size to a small house than a typical truck. Built on the frame of a Peterbilt 359, Big Pete holds the distinction of being the world's first semi-truck monster truck, even featuring a detachable trailer for added spectacle. Under its aluminum hood sits a 7.4-liter Chevrolet V8 engine, but the real marvel lies in its military-grade transmission, capable of driving four separate axles. Unlike most modern monster trucks, Big Pete still uses leaf spring suspension, though its extreme weight requires the springs to be replaced twice a year. When Big Pete enters the arena, its sheer mass makes the earth tremble. As it crushes cars and launches into jumps, fans often joke that it isn't just a truck, it's a mobile seismic event that leaves crowds both shaken and amazed. When an oil tycoon builds an off-roader, you can be sure it won't be ordinary. Enter the Dobian a monstrous 10-wheeled machine that looks more like a rolling fortress than a vehicle. Created by Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan al-Nahyan, famously known as the Rainbow Sheikh and the world's biggest car collector, this off-road giant began as a military-grade Oshkosh truck. To it, he added a Jeep Wrangler cabin, creating what is arguably the most outrageous off-roader ever built. Weighing a colossal 24 tons, the Dobian is powered by a 15.2-liter Caterpillar diesel engine producing 600 horsepower, an engine type normally reserved for bulldozers. Despite its bulk, it glides over desert sands with ease, turning heads and drawing cameras wherever it goes. Sure, critics mention poor visibility and questionable practicality, but practicality isn't the point. For the rainbow shape, vehicles like the Dobian are proof that every wild automotive dream can be brought to life. When Swedish tuning legend Sven Erik Svempa Bergendahl set out to build a truck of the future, he created something that stunned both engineers and fans alike. The result was Chimera, a machine that isn't just a showpiece but a high-performance powerhouse. This futuristic truck can rocket from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 